place is over 3,500 years old. It was here before the white people got here. And it was here that uh, soldiers and stuff massacred many of the people in this area. And many of the people brought their relatives here and buried them here. You know, this ground is sacred. It's, it's, it's that old. And it's still today, for 10 years now, uh, people in the community, the Intertribal Vallejo, Intertribal Council, Unidni, Karina, uh, you can raise your hand because people don't know who you are, maybe. Unidni. Karina, where's she at? She's uh, interviewing. All right, Janelle, Morningstar. <laughs> and JR. Some of the 500 mile John and the, the runners are here. And many of you are the two that I'm, <clears throat> I know. I just don't know your name personally, but keep, keep can you continue to come out to support uh, when we <clears throat> wounded me and the people put out an alert to come out here. I really want to thank you. You know, my uh, job, I'm the American Indian Movement spiritual leader for the state of California. And ever since <clears throat> the, the 70s, I've carried the American Indian Movement flag. And what I do is out here in our communities on the reservations inside the Department of Corrections for a little over 37 years is teach to protect our culture and traditions. This is one of them. One way we have to, like Dennis said, we've been 10 years they've been out here telling uh, <clears throat> the media, telling the people thanking the people that keep showing up to uh, stop what GBR D wants to do out here. So, the people that are here, again, you know, my, my, my thanks from all of us, you know, from the relatives that are here because this is the medicine that they put down when, when they were here. This is why we're here. This is why wounded knee. Many of them that keep coming out here is because they know this place is sacred. It's our relatives. We want to ask them to continue uh, helping us, you know, to uh, get the idea to GBRD and the rest of them. Leave this place alone. Return the bodies that they've taken from here. I have a book with over 100 bodies in it. And you know this area here, been here that long, so it has more than more than than what we can think of as far as numbers. <coughs> so let's think about them, the children. I have returned bodies that were given back to us by different organizations out of their their good heart, and we put them in different places. I buried them in Santa Cruz Mountains. I buried them in other places so that they would be back in Mother Earth. This is where they belong. Some of those bodies came back out of the museum. We put it, gave them back to Mother Earth. Try to get them as close to their relatives and, the, and where they were taken from as, as we could. It's not easy when you find, they give us little boxes, inside the boxes, all kinds of bones and all kinds of things that people made children, toys, the different things that they were, they were, they had when they went on, their, their family put it in there with them. We had to do the best that we could so that they look at the, the creator and, and, and line them up according to the bone size. And we prayed, left medicine all over, all kinds of medicine, you know, in those areas because we wanted to do the best that we could. The indigenous people of this country served this country well. <laughs> Check history out. We have served in the military, veterans, 210,000 sacrificed their lives to protect this country. And now they come to dig our ancestors up. If you know the true history about relocation, many, many tribes across this United States have been relocated. Now they want to come 
and relocate our ancestors to museums in cardboard boxes. That is a crying shame. One more other story. There's a place along the Highway 80 on the interstate between Fairfield and Vacaville. They discovered another sacred site. And do you know what they want to do? And build on that sacred site? A church. So it must end. And we need your support. We call on all indigenous people of this country and around the world to join us in this struggle <clears throat> to stop the developers and the bureaucrats from digging up our ancestors. Oh, oh, it must oh, end. Oh, oh. It must end. Enough is enough. Oh. Our ancestors are crying. You will feel the spirit of them. You will see a ceremony that's been done thousands and thousands of years ago by our indigenous people of this country. I want you to pray to your ancestors because without them, we wouldn't be standing in this circle right now. So I ask you in a spiritual way, in a spiritual message, in the city of Vallejo, in GBRD, to listen to our call of the indigenous people and the earth people to stop now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You will listen to a song, an honor song. <coughs> by my friends and whoever knows the song you could join us <coughs> so I want to thank you and there will be another special ceremony by my friend very sacred And when he loads it, and when he loads it, the ch sacred Chinupa, I want you to pray and listen to the song. Because when we get ready to smoke it, that's where your prayer is going to go to, to your ancestors. Thank you very much. Oh. 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 I think you all know uh, the civil rights complaint was uh, so far a huge success. Millions of people have heard about it. We got massive press coverage yesterday, um, which in fact I woke up this morning at six before six, turned on the TV, and this beautiful place was on the news Woo! about the occupation of the ceremony. And uh, a few minutes later, it was on the news again. And um, so that that's really good. The effect of that has been this: number one. Uh, the U.S. Department of Justice um, is, uh, was here last night and will be helping out to try to resolve this favorably. Number two, to my shock and amazement, 
Uh, but again, I think a tribute to the power of the people here and the whole struggle that's gone on for so many years um, that the Attorney General's office at Kamala Harris's office in Sacramento move faster than I've ever seen any government official ever move. Now that's not to say they're going to rule in our favor, but <coughs> hours after the civil rights complaint was filed, the Attorney General's Office of Native Americans um, started investigating. Um, and we understand they may be sympathetic to these concerns. So that's been really positive. Um, how has all this played out in closing? GBRD, which basically, as you know, could give a hoot about uh, the sacred site here, all of a sudden gave indications they were ready to reconsider. And they forwarded the civil rights complaint and links to all the press coverage and our press release to their board of directors. And so that indicates that there's at least some reconsideration. And several folks uh, did talk to GBRD's general manager and we got the impression at least, nothing official that, well, for sure they're freaking out. And that, 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 that is there no there is no doubt. But secondly, that there was some reconsideration. So I think the message and, and the lesson is we just got to keep turning up the pressure. But um, uh, the U.S. Department of Justice now is going to, uh, we understand on, our beha on behalf of Spirit and all of us asking GBRD to open up a new round of discussions, hopefully as soon as Monday, um, to see if they will finally back off on the grading of the hill, the toilets, the parking lot, and the other key issues. As I said, there's agreement or close to it on some things, but the big items, not yet, but we sense the movement. So I know people have other things in your lives, everybody's busy, but you all are here and it's so important to the extent we can just keep the pressure up and bring even more people, um, that's going to be key. Ooh. So thanks, and uh, we'll be talking about, we're going to take some action this afternoon, or later this morning oh. as well. Oh. Oh.